Well, hi guys, it's that time. It's our kind of our uh, Bible teaching snippet of the day. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about how I just go about and do things kind of like Jesus did. And what I'm trying to do is to educate people to grow them up into Christ, okay? And this is my goal. I'm not trying to make you comfortable. I'm not trying to make you happy with where you're at. What I actually want you to do is to see that you can be more than you are and what we've been taught that we can be. Everything that I do, and I know many of you that watch me think that I have this gift or this anointing or whatever. No, let me tell you what I have. I have been born again. I have his spirit in me. I've been baptized in Holy Spirit. So what I do is I take scripture literally in Mark chapter 16, uh, verses 15 through 18, where Jesus said that future believers would do the following things. Number one was cast out spirits. And then we would speak in new tongues or other tongues, heavenly tongues. Uh, that could be foreign languages, stuff that I don't even know how to speak. But when I pray in tongues aloud, that person Holy Spirit interprets it over into their language and it's just like the two of us are having a conversation and I witness for the kingdom of God. And sometimes I pray in my own heavenly language and that's where I am talking to my father and my father is talking back to me in a language that cannot be decoded by the powers of darkness or evil spirits, okay? So there's two different types of tongues, okay? So, but Jesus said I'd cast out devils, I would speak in new tongues or unknown tongues. What that means, it's unknown to the powers of darkness. The next thing, I'd lay hands on the sick. So what I want to do in everything that I teach and the way that I live is I want to set the example of how Jesus lived and how he wants us to live. So I don't want to be a typical Christian, but I want to be the standard for believers. I want to empower you to know that God is in you and he wants to move through you to bring heaven down to earth, okay? Heaven is in you and flows out of you into the earth. This is not about me being a special person other than the fact that I've been born again. And you're a special person too. Every single person can do all, all of the things that I do. They can heal the sick. They can lay hands on people and see them recover. Uh, believers, all believers, all believers can lay hands on the sick and they recover. All believers can command the dead to rise and bring them back to life. All believers in the name of Jesus can cast out unclean spirits. My entire goal as a Bible teacher is not to teach you some theology. No, I'm, I want you to know that you are sons and daughters of God filled with his spirit and we should be turning this world upside right upside uh, downside right is how they say it so it's upside down now and we want to turn it upside right and we have the power in us to do it okay so let me tell you what I did today I came here to Costco and I checked out and usually they're so busy that uh, you know all I do is lay hands on people and uh, release the life of God in them today uh, I was checking out and there's this man, he's probably 30 between, I'd say he's about 30, maybe 32 years old. He's checking me out. And uh, he, he talks, but it's jumbled like he's had some type of a stroke or something. Today, there was nobody in line behind me, and there was no pressure on him. So I let him get through checking me out and uh, his jumbled speech and everything. And when he got through... I walked around the counter and I said, Michael, and he turned and looked up at me and I said, I want to pray for you to restore your voice. And I laid hands and I said, I'm, I want to lay my hand right here. And he shook his head, okay. And I put my hand right here and I commanded 
his vocal cords to work properly and for his voice and for him to be able to speak plainly. And then I told him, I said, now tonight when you go to bed, all I need you to do, this is your part. You say, Jesus, thank you for restoring my vocal cords and my ability to speak perfectly. That's all you got to do is say thank you. And I said, baby, you don't have to say anything other than thank you for restoring me, and that's good enough. Okay, this grown man starts crying as I'm holding his hand. And I looked at him, and I said, you know that I have to love you very, very much to stop in the middle of everything I'm doing to lay hands on you to pray for you. You know I love you. And he's crying, and he shakes his head, yes. I said, I want you to go to bed tonight knowing that God wants to heal you, and I want you to be healed as well. So here's the other part to this. As I left him, I, I spoke out loud for the spirit that was oppressing him to be, I said, I bind you in the name of Jesus, and I commanded it to gather up what it's caused and for it to go and not to come back. And so I did not do that in front of him, but I did lay hands on him per what Jesus told us to do. And I spoke over him complete healing. And as I walked away, I commanded the spirit to leave him. Because a lot of people don't understand spirits, okay? So uh, I just wanted to show you that sometimes we don't have to do all of that right there in front of the person where we actually take them out of faith into, wow, that was weird. She was talking to some demonic spirit that I didn't even know I had. So here's a lesson for you today, okay? Uh, sometimes I will speak to the unclean spirit in front of the person, okay, and command it to go. And then there's other times where I feel that the spirit of God is bearing witness with my spirit, okay, not to do that, to leave the person and then go do that. Because in the spirit realm, there's no space, no distance. Guys, I've sp I have set people free of unclean spirits over the telephone, over the internet, over text message, okay? And usually when I type out something, I'm speaking it out loud in the name of Jesus. And that's just as powerful as if I'm doing it with them that very moment, okay? I hope that you have learned something today. And look, I hope you like my new t-shirt. I got this on a clearance sale for like five or six bucks. But anyway, it says, I'm a whosoever, and I am forever, forever grateful to my Lord, my Lord, Jesus Christ, for setting me free and allowing me to be a whosoever who can receive his goodness and step into the kingdom of God and be translated out of the kingdom of darkness. And God bless you, and I'll see you here tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye.